football down the field and get the turnover. Unbelievable grab. This series begins for the offense with a very good chance to score. The jumbo set on the field. First and ten. Ryan still has it. Scrambling out of the pocket. He has the grab. Good piece of tackling. The Buccaneers trail right now. and They just have not been able to rush the quarterback, which is very rare for this defense. Well, they got to find a way to get to the quarterback, and I don't know what do you do. Do you bring in different players? Do you use some different subs? Hey, me, I think they should start blitzing. Find a way to hit that QB. Right side. Touchdown, Atlanta Falcons. this run by the offense is just it's arrogance they just say you can't stop us and they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown the Falcons with the PAT to come makes the PAT the Falcons will have their kicking team on the field now their defense made a huge stop on fourth down and that led to the great starting field position on a drive that would end with a touchdown. Martin's going to run this one out. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. The Buccaneers will begin their drive from the 26 now. Quarterback coming to the Hoping to avoid being sacked for a sixth time in this game. And Evans has got the catch and the first. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. First down here after the completion. Last play before the two-minute warning. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Finds Evans, and he's tackled. He'll be a yard short of the first. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. Just two minutes left in this one. We're back now for the end of the fourth quarter. Second down, even after the completion. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. They go screen with Martin. A foot race to the end zone. The 20, the 10. What a nice throw and catch that time, but here it just shows you why you want to have a lot of speed on the defensive side. So when you make a mistake, what do you do? You make up for it by chasing the player down from behind and making the tackle. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. You know, if you're a defensive player and you're covering a receiver down here on first and goal, you don't have to cover that much area. That's a terrible job by the defense giving up that touchdown pass. Throw to the left. So put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. He executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. was made
Real good field position here to start this series. Double tight end formation. Now first and ten. Out of the eye. Here's the handoff. They knock him down, and he's still two yards short of the first. Second down and two to go after the running play. Offense lines up here. Jackson outside to the right. That's a game of seven. Timeouts called. We're going to step aside. We'll be back in just a moment. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. They'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. First and ten. Keeps it here. Looking to the right side and throwing. Had it for just a second, but then it came out on contact. You might as well catch it because you're going to take the big hit no matter what. That time, the receiver lets the ball go because he was worried about the defender making the hit. Tosses the football. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. They're able to move the chains after that last run. They bring in the extra tight end. Quick drop back. Throwing out to his left. And that'll be a gain of about two. The Buccaneers have to call one right here, and they do. And they are out timeouts second down Jackson's hand at the football that picks up seven here in the second half one look at these stats tells you a big reason this team's on top today they've been able to run the football they have been physical all day long it's just like this you're in a fight you're throwing body blows they're working why go to the head and go for the knockout don't do it stay to the body takes it across and he's in for the touchdown jim with that touchdown this late in the game that ices it and if you could sing, you could, uh, I'd let you say it's turn out the lights, but we know you can't sing. So the game is over. Falcons lined up now for the point after. He made it. The Buccaneers really couldn't afford to give up any points there. They're trailing late in the fourth. The scores 35 to 14. Everyone's lined up for this kickoff. the 24 the Buccaneers come to the line to start this drive at the 24 Martin is in the backfield first down and 10 gets it out for the completion and he is tackled down at the 38 yard line personal foul face mask defense Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a, you know, a little slack because they're running so fast. They're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space, and sometimes accidentally, you're going to grab the face mask. And incomplete. Quarterback was under a lot of duress on that mask, and alas, it's incomplete. All right, now listen, I know he was under duress, but you got to hit these type of throws in the NFL. You're not always going to get perfect protection. That's not a good job by the quarterback. From the shotgun. Throws the pass. And that's Humaniora in on the stop. They'll go to the hurry up here as the clock runs. Makes the grab and the feet are down. Offside. Defense. He'll decline the penalty and let the play stand. 
They'll take the snap from inside the red zone. A week ago, they had a lot of success inside the 20. First and 10. And it's thrown incomplete. There's no secret here, Jim. You got to get in the end zone as fast as you can so you still have a chance maybe to win this game. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. From the gun. The catch is made. And he's tackled just two yards short of a first down. And, Phil, we see the numbers now. You think when a quarterback is posting numbers like this, they would be leading, but that's not the case. It is not the case, Jim. The defense has really struggled today, even though the quarterback and the offense making a lot of nice plays. It's not enough. The defense, they have to step up. He's setting up here. He's been sacked five times today. Really been beat up. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. And this will probably wrap things up here. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. He was looking short, but the pass falls incomplete. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. Wide receivers are bunched up. Second and goal to go. Looks to his left and incomplete. Well, it's a big performance in front of a primetime audience and a sweet victory in the end. Of course, the players are not thinking about the fact that, hey, a lot of people are watching us here today in this game. But when you win, and then you sit back and think everybody was watching us and you played well, boy, that is some great experience. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Simms, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.
Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. A pair of tight ends will be on the field today looking to do whatever it takes to give their team an advantage. It's the Vikings going up against the Falcons. Now let's go to Jim Nance and Phil Simms for this week four matchup. Falcons, Vikings coming up on EA Sports as we get ready for today's week four matchup. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims. And Phil, it's an absolutely gorgeous day here for football. And how will that factor into this game? It's always a factor, Jim, when you have good weather. Now you can call anything you want and not worry about the elements disturbing your game plan. It's a complicated game. There's no doubt about it. But it's less complicated when you have good weather. So that means Devin Hester will be back for the opening kick. And Blair Walsh looks set now to kick it away. And no return as this goes for a touchback. Ryan's going to be leading the offense once again today. He connected on over 60% of his throws last week. It's first down as they head to the line. Muscles through the defender. Here's our look at the Falcons' offense. They'll be trying to cut down on the turnovers. A week ago, they gave away the football two times. That leads us to second down. They need to get the playoff. The Vikings come out in the nickel. Timeouts called, and we're going to step aside. We'll be back in just a moment. This will be second down. Matt Ryan under center. Gives it to Steven Jackson. Fights off the hit. He's brought down. Very good at converting these situations a week ago. The Falcons come to the line, and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. Third and seven. And he takes off. Matt Ryan with the long pass down the field. Well, the offense didn't pick up the first down that time. They're, they're pretty happy the way everything turned out because that pass could have been intercepted, and you give an interception up on third down, and that is bad. The Falcons take it from the 23. Ryan over to Douglas. They bring him to the turf. The Falcons really have great faith in their offense. They go for it on fourth down, and that faith paid off, and they picked it up. Matt Ryan under center. Back to the air here on first down. Catch made. Rhythm. You hear it so often in sports, and it is true, especially on the offensive side. 
That's another first down by the offense. They got some rhythm, and these kind of these kind of drives usually lead to scores. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Second down, four to go. Has his target. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. Now first and ten. They'll run it here. And a gain of four. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Second down and five. They're going to get him here for a sack. Well, that time, the quarterback didn't hold the football. The left side of the line, just they just collapsed. He doesn't even feel it or see it, and he goes down for the sack. Corners formation here for the defense. Falcon from the 32. Throws to the right. Very nearly intercepted. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything. It's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. The coach is going to go for it. The Vikings defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Running away from the pressure. Into the open. Smith's there to make the stop. Well, it's always about risk and reward. It is a risk to go for it on fourth down. When you pick it up, you feel like a genius, don't you? Marching down the field and taking their time. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. That time that run play in the red zone, they did not pull the defense. The offense gets overpowered. They get a very little gain that time on the run. What a drive this has been. Second down and nine. They'll go ground. Rodgers, right side. And that picks up three. The Vikings defensive coordinator, he's going to be happy with the results there. He was guessing run inside the red zone. That's what he's got. And they were ready for it. And they gave up very little yardage. Third down and six. And he hauls it in. Davis brought down after picking up 11 on this play. Number two. It's hard to throw the football down the field once you get in the red zone. That time the quarterback, well, he knows that. And he looks down there. Nobody open deep. Throws it short. And they get a nice solid pickup on that play call. Can't find Space, and this will be a loss of one on the play. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. This long drive continues. And now, getting set for the 15th play of the drive. The long drive continues. Flip to the outside. He breaks the play. He's in for the touchdown. Touchdown well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. They got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. It's good. The Vikings now will have their chance to respond with their first drive. The scores seven to zero. The Vikings are ready to return the kickoff. Patterson won't test the coverage here as he takes a knee. First down coming up. There we go now. Green 90. Green 90. Out to the left. Most intercepted that time. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted and the guy dropped it. You just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? Patterson's a receiver in the slot. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. 
brought down at the 26. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Offense lines up here. The Vikings snap it at the 26. And he's going to be dropped for the sack. That's going to bring up fourth down after just a three-play series. they got to give that defense in front a lot of credit, man. They are pushing. They're getting after it. They know it's probably going to be a pass on third down, and they get back to the quarterback and take him down. Hester's going to try and return this punt, and he is tackled at the 44. Well, the best thing we can say about that punt return, well, he didn't fumble the football. Jackson's lined up as the single back. Gets the handle here. Chase past the defender. Picks up eight here. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Second down and two. Keeps it on the play fake. That brings the play to an end. Oh, there's nothing like a play-action pass. When the offensive linemen make it look like it's a run, the linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw it down the field for that completion. Play fake. Getting away from the pressure. And Munderland nearly pick off that throw. I know we've all heard this race before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. Second and ten. Going to try and scramble now. The defense gets a sack. Well, if your offensive line's not good enough just to stop the pass rush, then you got to help them out. How do you do that? Well, you keep the tight end in, let him be an extra blocker, and you tell your running backs to help out, too, blocking some of these defensive linemen. This will probably be the last play before the two-minute warning. Midway, second quarter. Takes off with it. And the quarterback is taken down. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. Going for it on fourth down. The Falcons snap it at the 41. And now he'll take off. Down the field. This is going to set up a change of possession. Well, I'll give the defense some credit here. They stopped them on fourth and long. Well, they should. Take that back. I'm not giving them any credit. I'm giving the blame to the offense. Bad decision. First down at the 41. Out to Jennings. Moore's there that time for the tackle. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw... and just keep picking up those first downs. The defense comes out of the dime. There we go. Two, four, five. Two, first five. down at the 24. He'll throw it over the middle. Castle's pass will go for an incompletion. Well, the protection was bad. The quarterback didn't have the time. He's off balance, and he throws the incompletion. Adrian Peterson is in the backfield. There we go. Z, Z, Z. Z, Z, Z. Second down and 10. 